Hello everyone. In our last lesson, we started our project setup. We've installed Java, Maven, Git, downloaded IntelliJ community as our IDE, and we also cloned our Git uh, repository that we are going to use as a base to start our next uh, lessons. In this uh, lesson, we are going to run our first playwright test. So I'm going to start by opening the pom file from the uh, repository that we just cloned. I'm going to use open, go to download. If you remember, we used uh, this code, code folder to download the Playwright project. And I'm going to open this pom file. And I'm going to choose over here, open as a project. Now, this will open this as a Maven project. As you can see, we only have a few files over here, a POM file, git ignore, and a readme file. So to write our first test, we will need two dependencies. One of them is JUnit 5, and the other one will be the Playwright uh, library. To download these dependencies, since we are using Maven, I'm going to open a browser, open a tab, navigate to Maven repository. This is the one. And I'm going to search first for uh, the JUnit dependency. So we will need the JUnit Jupyter engine, this one. I'm going with the latest version, which is 5.9. I'm going to copy this and add it to my dependencies. I'm going to remove the scope test, also this uh, annoying link. And I'm going to choose uh, load Maven changes by clicking this uh, icon over here. So this will actually fetch the, pro the package and I will be able to see the, uh, the classes that are used in this package. Next will be Playwright. Playwright, I'm going to use uh, the Playwright main library, going with the latest version. Again, I'm going to copy this, add it as a dependency, and we are basically done with, with our dependencies. We have JUnit and we have Playwright. Again, I'm going to use this uh, icon over here to also load this uh, Playwright library. Okay, next, I'm going to create a new uh, package. So I'm going to new directory, and I'm going to create the source test Java package where I'm going to create our first class. So this is usually where you store your tests. I'm going to call my class first test. And let's create our test. I need to add public void before it, give it a name, I'm going to call it first test. And then, um, to actually make it a test, you need to use the, the test annotation from JUnit Jupyter API. And now this is actually a test. Next, I'm going to actually print something out. I'm going to do this works. And I'm going to write by clicking over here, run test. Okay, so at this point, we have a simple working journey five test. Let's move along and actually create a playwright test. Now, I'm going to introduce some concepts that uh, will be explained in more detail in the upcoming lessons. But to follow along, just do what I'm doing right now. Uh, in order to create our first test, we first need to instantiate the playwright object. So I'm going to write playwright and do playwright create. So this uh, playwright object offers a method to launch our browsers. After we have this created, we need to actually create a browser. So uh, Let's do browser and use the playwright uh, object that we've uh, 
uh, just created. And now I'm able to select what browser type I, I would like. I have uh, three options, Chromium, Firefox, or, op or WebKit. I'm going to use Chromium and then simply invoke launch. The next step would be uh, to create uh, a browser context, but this is optional. I'm going to explain what uh, browser context is and what it does in further uh, lesson. But now uh, uh, I'm just going to create our first page. Let's just call it page and I'm going to use the browser and do, do browser new page. And now we have our first page. The last step would be to actually do something with this page. So I'm going to choose to navigate to a new URL. I'm going to use google.com. Okay. And let's add here a breakpoint. Now, there's one thing that I need to mention. By default, uh, Playwright will run the test as headless. So if we run this right now, we won't be able to see anything. So in order to bypass that, I'm going to add some uh, uh, browser options over here in the launch method. I'm going to do browser type launch options. And I'm going to, let's add new in front of it. And I'm going to uh, set headless to set headless. So I'm going to set it to false. So it will start by showing the actual browser. And the last step would be to actually debug our test and I'm going to run it until this line over here. So now I'm, I'm expecting to see a browser that navigates to Chrome, which has actually happened. Perfect. So this concludes our first lesson. We just managed to write and run our first playwright test.